Okay, today we're going to be looking at the Dabline Candy Cotton Quilting Template. This is a really fun uh, template that makes these really cute kind of cloud-like stitches. If you see here, I've done some on a practice piece. It's a really pretty uh, different take on the meander stitch. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. But first we're going to look at the actual template. So when you first take the template out of the package, um, you're gonna notice that it has kind of like a film. See, it, it looks a little frosty, a little film here on the top of it. And that's just on there to protect it during shipping. Uh, so we're gonna wanna remove that. So in your package, you will also find this little um, disc that's gonna help us take that film off. So the disc is just stuck on here with some sticky tack. So we're gonna take this disc and just take the very edge of it and we're going to just kind of rub the edge, any edge on here until it starts peeling off a little bit. You don't wanna to push too hard because you don't wanna accidentally scratch the acrylic. But once you get it started, it's very easy to take off. Okay, so I've got a little piece there started and you just kind of slowly pull it off. If it rips, it's okay. You can just uh, do the same process we just did to get the rest of it off. But it should come off just all in one piece. There we go. And then you can just discard that in the trash or recycling. And then there you have the nice, clean uh, acrylic template now. We'll set this aside. Now, what also comes in the package are these little grips um, that you can put on the back of the templates that's gonna help it stay in place on the fabric. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a few on the back here. You can tell the back what the back is because uh, the front has the words right side like that, but on the back, it's a mirror image. So we're gonna take these little sticky discs. These also come in that package of the quilting templates. And you're just gonna put a few around. I like to put them right on the corners of the template that helps hold it in place. So then when you're moving your fabric underneath your sewing machine, um, the template won't be slipping and sliding all over the fabric. This just makes it a little easier because this has a little rubber, rubber foot then that'll adhere to the fabric. So I think I'm just gonna put three on this one. That'll probably be enough. Okay. There we have those little stickers on there. And now if I put that on there, I can definitely feel a little resistance there. So that's, we're going to be using this template. And then you're gonna wanna use, probably gonna wanna use the um, the ruler grip. Um, you don't have to, if you'd rather just use the ruler by itself, but I find that using the grip is makes it a little bit easier. And that just fits right in there. Now, when you look at the template, you will notice that it says center line here. This is a line that we're gonna wanna mark on our fabric and that's gonna help us know where to line up the line to be able to get these pretty little candy, cotton candy shapes on the fabric. So we're gonna be marking three lines today. And these are just going to be guidelines. These are lines that you're not going to want to leave on the fabric. So you definitely want to use a disappearing ink pen. Um, that's what I'll be using today. This just disappears in, it's an air and water soluble pen. You can also use a Hira marker, which will just mark a crease into the fabric. You can use that, but I thought for um, instructional purposes, a pen's a lot easier to see than a Hira marker. So 
first we're going to do a top line and that's just going to need to be a straight line So that's our first line. Then you're gonna measure from this top line, you're gonna measure five and a quarter inches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five inch, and then a quarter of an inch. And then I'm gonna mark another. Line. All right, and then if I take our template, that fits right in there, like that. And then we are going to make a line in the center of these two lines, which then this, actually this center piece, or the center line will be lining up with the center line that we draw. So we wanna find the center of this five and a quarter which is going to be two and five eighths. You could probably do the center line at two and a half if you don't want to move, uh, measure two and five eighths, but we're going to do that there. All right. And now we are ready to take this over to our sewing machine. So you're gonna to wanna to take your practice piece. This is just a practice piece uh, that we'll be using today. The template, the template grip, and it's optional, but if you wanna use the uh, quilting gloves that come along with the set, you can also use that, which will help it just further helps uh, keeping the grip solid on the fabric so it's not slipping and sliding. So those help for some people. Some people might want to use them, some people not. Since I'm using the grip, I'm not going to use the gloves today, but uh, we'll take this over to the sewing machine and I'll show you how to quilt with this template. Okay, now that we're at our sewing machine, first we're going to want to set our sewing machine up for free motion quilting. So you're gonna want to um, put your feed dogs down. The feed dogs are these little feet underneath the needle that actually feed the fabric through. And when you're doing free motion quilting, you don't really want the sewing machine feeding the fabric through straight because you're going to be moving the fabric all around underneath the needle. So you wanna put your feed dogs down or some machines come with a little plate that goes over those feed dogs, which does the same thing. Um, then we want to put our stitch length to zero. And if you can control the speed of your sewing machine, I would recommend slowing it down a bit until you're more comfortable with doing the free motion quilting. So before we actually even turn our sewing machine on, we're gonna do some practice just with the movement of the uh, template and the fabric underneath the needle without even needing the sewing machine on, okay? So I'm going to take our template here. Remember that center line? We are going to line this line right here on the template. We're gonna line that up with that center line that we drew on the fabric. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna line that up with that line. As you can see, it's lined up. And then we're going to put the camera back down here. And then we're just gonna practice our movements. So you wanna put one hand on each of the little handles on the a ruler grip, bring it under, lower your presser foot, and you're gonna wanna keep that presser foot, oh, I didn't mention this before, but 
when you're doing free motion quilting with rulers, you're going to need a special free motion quilting ruler foot. Um, the difference between this and a regular free motion quilting foot is this one has a taller lip that you then press up against the template and that helps you stay on track. Um, if you were to use a regular free motion quilting foot, it would just slip over and under the ruler and it you wouldn't have nice smooth movements with your ruler. So you definitely want to invest in one of these special free motion quilting ruler feet. Okay, so now that we know that, <laughs> we're going to um, press that foot up against the acrylic ruler and what we're going to do is we're going to follow along this edge the inside edge of the ruler with the ruler foot so i'm just going to slowly move it you're going to be moving your fabric along with it as well so you definitely want to take this nice and slow and while you're going around these curves you want to keep in mind that you want it to have nice smooth even movements because that's going to be controlling your stitches as well and just take it nice and slow. If you need to, stop when you reach uh, one of these little dips in the ruler. You can stop and then start again. Taking it nice and smooth around those curves. It's not a race. And then we come to the end and we stop. Now we're going to just take this entire, the entire grip and the entire ruler and we're just going to flip it. Flip it around, keeping the ruler in that spot. Your needle will be down um, at this point. Then we're going to line that center line up again with that center line that we drew. It's nice and lined up. And now we're going to just start again and follow this curve, that inside curve again. You always want to keep the ruler pressed up against the inside curve. There you go. Just take it nice and slow. Follow the curves. And then finish there and then to just continue going you just again flip this around line up that center line and then go around keeping that ruler foot pressed up against that center edge or the inside edge of the ruler rather and just go all the way around and then to flip it you just flip the whole thing and do it again all right let's actually turn our sewing machine on and do some stitches now all right my sewing machine is on and i'm gonna start sewing i've got my center line lined up with the center line that i drew and let's start sewing you want to keep it nice and slow. Here we go. See, I stopped there at the curve. If that's what you need to do, go ahead and do it. stop. Now we're going to flip this whole thing around, lining up that center line. And now let's go back around. Here we go. Now 
we're going to flip this back around. Get to our starting point. Line up our center lines. And let's go around again. You pick up speed as soon as you feel comfortable. Flip it around again. Line up those center lines. stitch. And stop. Flip it around. Line up those center lines. start again. I'll flip it around one more time just to finish off this row. Lining up my center line. And I'll just finish going off of the fabric here. And there we go. Let's get this out of the way. And there you can see those beautiful quilted cotton candy fluffs. Pretty cute, huh? Now, if you used one of these markers, it will dissolve. If it's air, air soluble, it'll dissolve probably in 30 minutes, an hour, something like that. Or if it's a water soluble, you just need to get it wet and those will go away. Um, and there you go. That is how you use the candy cotton dab line quilting template.